Let's hear from a man uh, who knows Stephen Gerrard probably better than anybody. 730, uh, yeah, 737 appearances for Liverpool. He played all his Liverpool career alongside Stephen Gerrard, who, of course, is probably his best mate. Jimmy Carragher, good afternoon. Afternoon, Jim. Great, afternoon, great for you joining us. This, uh, Jimmy, thanks for joining us this afternoon, my friend. We, we found out in the last half hour, presumably, you've known about this for a bit longer, have you, Jimmy? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> OK. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, I uh, found out maybe about 10 or 15 minutes before it come out today, really. That, that was it. I haven't spoken to Steve the last couple of weeks. He's obviously been on holiday, playing with Liverpool now. But it was something uh, he spoke to probably myself and a few of his you know, friends and family over the last few weeks about. And obviously he's come to his decision today. And I, I think it's probably the right decision for everyone. Was it, would it just have got too much for him? With all the demands of Liverpool now having gone so close last season uh, domestically, he, he, he probably just couldn't have carried on with England, could he? No, I think he could have. I think he's shown that throughout his career he's been able to deal with the demands of Liverpool and England. I think just the fact that Liverpool being back into Europe now, yeah. that after the schedule of games, at times he was playing two and three times a week because he's still vitally important to... To Liverpool, and I think he is also for England in some ways because there isn't a natural person you could see sort of taking the role he has now with England in terms of that holding role, that sitting role. There's not uh, many young players coming through in that role, but England will have to find someone to, uh, to fill that role. Who would that person be in your view, do you think, Jimmy? Well, I think it's a, that's a difficult one. That I, I was listening to Martin Tyler before, and I think he's right, you've got to make sure. You know, the England captain plays and he's going to be a mainstay in the team. I think the obvious one is, is Joe Hart uh, at the moment. Uh, in terms of playing, you look at Gary Cale, he, he's obviously in there a lot. Glenn Johnson, there was talk of Wayne Rudy maybe not having uh, that role so much in the summer. People talk about okay, now in terms of captaincy, but I think it is a difficult decision because I don't think there is a standout candidate at the moment. But, it, but it, at the same time, it is good news for Liverpool, isn't it, Jamie? Because if you're Brendan Rodgers this afternoon, you're like, great. We've got Stephen, and he can lead the way next season. Yeah, I'll take, listen, for Liverpool Football Club, it's a, it's a great decision. I'm sure all Liverpool supporters will be happy. Uh, you get a fresher Stephen Gerrard. He had a great season last season with the demands of England. But there'll be more demands on Liverpool this season, more expected because of the season they had last year. And Stephen Gerrard's still a vital part of Liverpool, and I think he will be for the next two or three years. So, for Brendan Rodgers, it's uh, you know, a great decision by Stevie. What, what, what actually sets him aside, do you think, from others in the game th then, Jamie? 114 times cap for England, but captain 38 of those times. How, go how good a leader was he? Well, there's different types of leaders. Stevie, he obviously is a great leader, and he loves being captain of Liverpool. He loved being captain of England. I think that was obvious for everyone. He, he had it at different times throughout his England career. But I think under Roy Hodgson, he was the England captain. And I think you could see how much he enjoyed doing that. So I think it will be a difficult decision for him to give that up. But he's, he's a captain who leads by example in his performance. And he gets respect because he's such a top player. And that's, you know, people look up to him. And you think of some of the, the games I played alongside him for Liverpool, especially those two cup finals in... 2005, 2006, and the performances he gave, they were captain's performances. You, of course, know him so well, Jamie. It, it, was, it, was he overly self-critical, do you think? Because we're seeing him here lifting the European Cup in Istanbul after that phenomenal comeback against AC Milan when it, it looked all gone. You, of course, played your part in that match. But will he be disappointed all the same that he couldn't get to the level with England that he's got to the level with, at club level, with Liverpool? Of course, that's not just Steve, that's, that's a whole generation yeah. of those players uh, that they never quite went close enough, maybe even getting to the semi-final or a final in a big tournament. And you think of the players that England have had over the last you know decade or so, I think it'd be a big disappointment for all of them. And I think that's why it probably was a big decision, because England never done so well in the summer. I think he would have loved to have had a great World Cup, the team did really well, all come back. And I think the decision to retire maybe in a bit... Very easy because I think he, he, along with a lot of those players who, who played in the last decade or say, uh, decade or so, may feel he probably should have achieved more. I'm just thinking, Jamie. Just finally, I mean, you you retired at international level. What? Back, I think back in about 2007. But then you came back to to to, to help England when they needed you at the 2010 World Cup finals. Any chance that Stephen might do the same? 
No, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, I had a bit more time on my side. I think Stevie the he's at now. Uh, Liverpool's demands as well. No, I, I don't think you know Stevie will uh, do what I did. And I think it's. Uh, I don't see that coming now. I think it's time for younger players to come in now. England have got a good group in the qualifying, you know, round to get to, to the Euros in France. I think they should come through that quite comfortably. And you could bed players in for the next couple of years, and I'm sure they'll be ready then three years' time.